What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of upcoming mods for Skyrim Special Edition. If you guys have never seen the series before, basically I show you a bunch of work in progress pictures, artwork, or just some other videos for different mods that mod authors are currently working on. It's important to remember when watching this though that mod authors work at a different pace and a lot of these mods are at a different stage in their development cycle. Some of these are weeks or even months from being finished, so get hyped by seeing some of these work in progress images, tune into the series so you could watch the progress but don't make the mod authors feel pressured or forced to finish them faster. They are doing this for free and on their own accord, so appreciate the work they're doing and again, just be respectful to the mod authors. With all that being said, if you guys do enjoy the series, one way you could really help it out is by leaving a like or a comment. Due to YouTube's new algorithmic changes, that's actually one of the best ways to make sure other people can see this video and get some of these mods more attention. With all that being said, if you guys do just enjoy the series, I really encourage you to consider subscribing. I do post these for Fallout 4 and Skyrim about once a week. Sometimes Sometimes a little bit less often. With all that being said though, let's just jump right into it. So the first mod I do want to show you all is going to be the Breton Knight. I did show you this last episode, but since then we actually have gotten an update and an actual in-game picture of the armor, so I did feel it was justified to show you it again. This is going to be a new armor mod by a very popular mod author named Newermine43. If you're coming from the Fallout scene of things, he's made quite a few different really high quality power armors, as well as he does have a few others that are currently a work in progress, but looking very promising. He's also made a ton of different armors for Skyrim as well. Nonetheless, the Breton Knight is actually an updated version of an old mod also named the Breton Knight. This was a mod for regular old Skyrim, but now with the release of Skyrim Special Edition, he did want to go back and remake the mod, making it higher quality to match the higher quality of the new game. In my eyes, the armor itself has kind of a weird cross between a priest and an assassin, if that makes sense. It almost gives you kind of a royal feel, but somebody that would probably be like packing and be able to kill everyone in the room very easily if they wanted to, but kind of the silent type also. Seeing these in-game pictures definitely made me get a lot more excited for the mod. Again, we did see how how high quality it was in the past so this one's only going to be even more high quality and these pictures definitely illustrate that accurately for us all around a very promising looking armor and honestly i wouldn't expect anything else from someone like Nurmond. So next up, we actually have an extremely interesting mod. This is going to be called a Flight Path System. What this is going to add in is a way to fly from town to town or just from one destination to another destination on a dragon. Right now, the way this is going to be implemented is as a part of Enderal, although the mod author did say if someone wants to port it over to regular old Skyrim, that definitely is a possibility. As you can see, it is very work in progress and a little bit buggy right now. It's not meant to be a finalized version, but more of a proof of concept. Personally, I think this looks awesome, especially for people that don't really want to use fast traveling as it kind of takes away from some of the immersion factor. I think this is a very good solution for that. It does implement some systems that we've seen in other games. So basically the way this is going to work is you'll spawn your dragon in. I think the mod author did say he does want to use it. So you'll actually summon them in through a spell. And then as soon as you get on the dragon, you'll have a bunch of predetermined paths. So let's say you want to go from Windhelm to Winterhold. Then your dragon or whatever flying creature you are using will fly on again a predetermined path from the one location to a second one. It's kind of similar to a mod we do have right now called Torrent Carriages. I did put that in a video before basically it just is a carriage that goes on a predetermined path and you just kind of sit along for the ride obviously this is looking very promising again the video although being very buggy does seem to work pretty well and i'm very excited to see where this mod goes in the future up next, we do have the Kothringi Armor. This is going to be done by a mod author that has actually had a few work in progress mods before that I believe were put into different packs and used by other people for their full implementation. Regardless, as you can see, the armor itself does look extremely high quality and honestly in a very finished and complete state. If you've never heard of the Kothringi before, basically it was a group of tribes people as a part of the Elder Scrolls lore. As you can see, the armor itself definitely looks like it fit into that theme. It almost looks like a warrior or something like that would wear it. But again, even some of the finer details, like some of those rope tied around the kind of waist and arms there do just look extremely high quality. I really like the kind of metallic shine on some of the metal pieces on the armor. I like how that contrasts the kind of fur and wool look of the other pieces and all around this looks like a very cool and very high quality armor. Obviously this would fit into the lore very well and fit into Skyrim as a whole very well. All around definitely looking like a very promising armor set that I'm excited to see in the future. So up next we have the Ultimate Samurai. This is actually going to be another work in progress armor. As you can see, this is an earlier state, but itself does look very high quality, especially some of those detailings on the shoulder. Regardless, it's going to be a work in progress by the Rotten Core. I actually covered one of his mods in the past called the Network Power Armor for Fallout 4. He also does have a Batcave mod for regular old Skyrim. Even though the armor itself seems like it is in relatively early stage in its development cycle, there is a ton of quality and details here. Again, you can see that dragon on the shoulder piece there, which looks absolutely amazing 
amazing, but the armor as a whole just seems like it looks very cool. I really want to see this with color and some textures. Based on this guy's previous mods, he definitely knows how to texture stuff pretty high quality. Maybe it's just me, but I think a nice armor like this with the samurai theme will fit very well into Skyrim, especially for some different roleplay characters. All around, it looks like it's going to be a very high quality and very promising armor set, and this is something I'm personally going to be extremely excited for. So next up we have the weapon position options by Fading Signal. Fading Signal is a very well known and renowned mod author. He is behind True Storms as well as a number of other really high quality mods. So what this mod is going to add in is a number of different ways to store weapons on your character. So there's going to be two primary things done by this mod. One, you're going to be able to store both a two-handed and a one-handed sword on your back. I gotta say that looks absolutely amazing. I love the look of it. It looks very badass. And put frankly, it looks like something out of a movie. In addition to that, you're going to be able to store both a quiver as well as a bow on your back in a much more kind of tight fashion. They're not going to look super far apart or kind of weird as they do right now. And I got to say, this mod is looking very promising, especially that double sword on your back. I really love the look of it. Personally, I don't use bows too much, but both of these do look very cool. It's going to be a small quality of life fix that I think is going to make a huge difference over the long term. Fading Signal is definitely known for making a lot of really high quality mods, so I'm definitely expecting some good quality when this is released. That's going to pretty much wrap it up for this one though, guys. I do hope you enjoyed as always. If you did watch through this point in the video, comment gingerbread down below getting into that christmas spirit finally as it is only under a week away now in the comments down below let me know which of these mods was your favorite personally i actually think weapon position options is going to be my favorite i really just love the way those two swords on the back look as always i thank you guys for watching and i do hope to see you all next time later